Today's subject is cybersecurity and law. We will discuss about cybercrime against societies, forgery, cyber terrorism, webjacking. Webjacking. The attacker, initial, a client side QR session, and clone a login, QR code, into a phishing website. Now, a well crafted phishing page, with a valid and regularly updated QR code is ready to be sent to a victim. The attacker sends the phishing page to the victim. The victim scans the QR code with a specific targeted mobile application. The attacker gains controls over the victim's account. The service is exchanging all the victim's data with the attacker's session. Webjacking is when someone clones your website and tricks you to believe the clone site is yours. The malicious link is placed somewhere on your web page and waiting for a click. Immediately, you click on it and a malicious web server replaces it and that means you have lost complete access to your website. Next, forgery. When a culprit alters documents stored in computerized form, or, electronics form, the crime committed, may be forgery. Here, computer systems are, the target, of criminal activity, computers, however, can also be, used as, instruments with which, to commit forgery. A new generation, of fraudulent alteration, or, we can say, counterfeiting emerged, when, computerized color laser, copiers became available. These copiers are, capable of, high resolution copying modification of a documents and even the creation of false documents without benefit of an original and they produce documents whose quality is identical from that of authentic documents except by an expert these schemes take very less computer knowledge to perpetrate counterfeit checks invoices and stationery can be produced using scanners color printers and graphics software such forgeries are Difficult to detect for the untrained eye. Next, cyber terrorism. The cyber threat has expanded in recent years with a series of damaging, high profile attacks. Cyber terrorism and cyber crime both are criminal acts. If we compare both, a cyber crime is usually a domestic subject, which may have worldwide significances, though. Cyber terrorism is an international concern, which have domestic, as well as, international consequences. The common form of these terrorist attack on Internet is by dispersed denial of service attack, hate websites, and hate mails attack on delegate computer network. It's a trap. Technology say we, terrorists, are using 512 bit encryption that is not possible to decrypt. We have covered introduction of all cyber crimes. In next video, we will see viruses, worms, malwares on the internet. Thanks for watching.